I'm making a slow cooker hash brown casserole. Oh. Now, you can bring this dish to your game in your slow cooker, so make it at home, and then it'll just stay warm on your way there. So we're gonna start off with a bag of frozen hash browns. You don't need to thaw these out. Just uh, put them straight into the slow cooker, frozen. That's great. So you don't need to grate them, peel, grate, yeah. squeeze out the water, none of that. It's all no, it's ready just the to potatoes, go. No, potatoes, ready to go. And you know, this is kind of inspired by, you probably know about this, Jeff, the Midwest dish, the hot dish. No, I've never had that. The I mean, Chicago's dish? its really? own country in the Midwest, I like. Okay, well, in of... Midwest, there's a lot of casseroles that are made with usually the um, little uh, potato tot. Yes, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're doing it with hash browns. And I'm making a Western omelet inspired one. Oh, I love it. So oh. I've got some onions going in there, just chopped onions, ham, a little diced ham. Ooh. Now you could jazz this up however you like. If you don't want ham, you could put some uh, cooked sausage in there. That would be good too. Some bacon, or you could just make it all veggies. Red bell pepper. <coughs> and I've got a little grated cheddar cheese here. Oh, the cheese just goes right in there. Yeah, it just goes right in. And then I'm gonna make what binds it all together. Kind of like when you make like a French toast casserole, like you always custard? have the egg, the custard. So I've got six eggs here, some whole milk going in. I love this. Yeah, and then I put in sour cream for oh some extra God, we richness. Just, we get, we're hitting all the uh, the buttons here, all, all yeah. the Midwestern. Where's the ranch go? <laughs> Ranch, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, I got a little garlic powder going in there. This is like Let's kind of a quiche, some salt. No? It's kind of quiche. Um, it could be, yeah. Yeah, you or like, fancy or like a, a Spanish frittata that yeah. has the potato and egg. Now Jeezy's going to like it. Exactly. I'm liking it already. Yeah. I didn't understand it. <laughs> yes, now you do. And some black pepper. You want to be sure to put a good amount of salt in this because this is your only chance to salt the potatoes, mm -hmm. really. And those, as we know, need a lot of salt. So just really whisk it up, get those egg yolks all mixed together, get the sour cream all in there. What's the furthest you've driven for a game? Because the cool thing about the slow cookers is, yeah, it holds the heat Ten for minutes. about two hours, mm -hmm. but you can also get those car adapters if you're really looking into yeah. it. Sometimes when I'm on oh. 78 going to a game, I'll see a car coming from Pennsylvania. Oh, that is a long drive. Okay, oh. some cream cheese goes in there as well. Oh, Why not have a little bit more dairy going on? Are you on? seriously Cheese in there. And just give it a gentle whisk. The cream cheese, you're not gonna get it all the way mixed in. It's okay. It's kind of nice to have some chunks of it in there because it gets nice and I thought and that was mozzarella gooey. when I saw that. Same here, same here. Hey, that would be good too. You could do like an Italian version of this and there'd be nothing wrong with that. Okay, goes right into our slow cooker. I just love a like that cook. This is going to be awesome. And then I'm going to mix the whole thing. What? And it's going to look soupy, but the potatoes are going to absorb that liquid, and it's going to turn into this wonderful creamy casserole. It's got actually everything you need for breakfast in here. Your eggs, your potatoes. This is also great. you got house guests. Put this on, and in the morning, everybody has breakfast right there. Well, You're going to crinkle some bacon over yeah. the top? Because you said there's everything we need for breakfast. Well, ham. There's ham okay, in there. Okay, there's ham in there. Yeah. I missed that. All right, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so this goes in the slow cooker four hours on high or six hours on low. I've done it eight hours on low as well, and it works. It just starts to get a little bit done. Now, I like to top it with some freshness, so I've got some green onions here. I'm just gonna slice through those nice and thin. Wait a minute, Katie, you said you go 10 minutes to a game. Where were you and what game were you going to? In Huntington, West Virginia, to the Thundering Herd, Marshall uh, uh, uh. University. Shout out! Yeah, everybody there likes to tailgate. That is the big thing to do on the weekends. All right, here we go. An hour before it's done, put your cheese on the top of it. Some more cheese, because oh, we cheese. like lots of cheese. Half hour to an hour, it'll melt. It's, oh, <gasps> Look at that! Oh, that just came Look at together. That. <laughs> Let's top it with some of these. And then I like to serve it with a little hot sauce. Mm-hmm, just a little sprinkle of hot sauce there. And then, Jeff, do you eat ketchup on your hash no, browns? No, not at no. all. Please okay. do not do that. Then I won't put any on yours. Nope. I like ketchup <laughs> on it. It's gonna come right out with it. Look at this. That thing is, look at that. It's like That's uh, substantial. That is substantial. This will get you through two, two hours from now when you dip into this. When it's sassy. cold outside. It looks so hot, I blew. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I, was like, I felt that. Oh, man. Molten hot. 
Katie, this is like everything you need. In, uh, like it's like the most, it's the ultimate portable breakfast, right? Because if you make this ahead of time, you know, if you properly tailgate, you get there early and you need some sustenance. And this is gonna provide that sustenance. It's cheesy, potato-y, hammy, eggy, everything. And that hot sauce gives it that extra zing at the end. Delicious. You gotta make this for your tailgate.